Let's straighten it out. You need to make it right. Okay. Thank y'all for putting up with my singing. My name is Candy Nicole with Arise. And today I've come with a message for you guys today. And this message is geared towards um, people who are leaders or voices for God. If you are any type of influencer for the kingdom of God, this word applies to you. I don't know if you guys realize it, but you are held to a higher standard. You are accountable for other people. And what I mean by that is whatever it is that you are leading, you are actually leading people. Like it's a big responsibility. I don't take, for instance, this lightly coming on here and speaking to you guys because I realize there are people who are led by the words that come out of my mouth. So I always want to be in alignment with God and speaking only what he has sent me to speak and nothing else. At one point, I remember being very fearful of even moving forward with ministry, afraid that I would lead people wrong. And today I want to speak to you guys about two different subjects. One about humbling yourself and the other about repentance. Repentance to him and also um, humbling yourself and repenting if you have done wrong to anyone who you have been leading. Um, the first thing that God was showing me last night in a dream was a leader that was wrong. Something that they had did insulted someone in the congregation and God was telling them to humble themselves. Okay. We are flesh and blood. We are regular people, you guys, and we are not perfect. Even if you are a leader, you are not perfect. You are still learning. You are still developing, but God has chosen to put you in a position to lead in some way, shape, or form. You're going to offend people at times, just like you're going to offend people in your everyday walk. You are going to offend people. And you can't please everybody. You cannot please everybody. But if you have personally offended someone, personally offended anyone that you have been leading, you need to make it your business to humble yourself and apologize. Even if it's like they they wrong on some things, you have to be the one to straighten it out to be the bigger person, all right? The next thing is that judgment is here for the righteous and the unrighteous. The judgment of the bee that I continue to talk about for the righteous and the unrighteous is here. That means it starts at the house of God first. And you as a leader is going to start with you guys because you are held to a higher standard of accountability. It's going to, when he gets to the church house, he's looking for you first, okay? Whenever he gets to the church, he he's looking at the leaders first and then the people. That means you're going to get it first, baby. Um, Wrath is what I heard earlier when God was speaking to me about this, okay? There's some of you that he's not too thrilled with. Um, if you have any way misled God's people, um, he's talking about wolf and sheep's clothing right now. If you've ever, um, put on <laughs> the wolf attire, honey. Okay. And, and you have not dealt with God peoples correctly. It is time for you to publicly repent. Not only go to God and repent, but if you have led his people astray in any way, shape, or from, I heard misled them. If you've misled them, I just heard, okay? If you have misled them, took an advantage of them, I just say even me, okay? You need to make it right, right now. You need to publicly apologize. And whoever it is that has been affected by what you have done, you need to reach out to those people and make it right. I'm hearing again, let's straighten it out. It is time for you to straighten it out. It is time for you to publicly repent, not just privately repent. It's great that you repented to God and you told him you're sorry for what you did. You've changed your actions, but there are people that you have hurt it in the process. And God is telling you that you need to make it right with his people because he loves his people. Just like he loves you, he loves your brothers and your sisters. And if you have misled them or done them wrong in any way, shape or form, God is saying you need to repent now. 
You're not going to walk into all these blessings if you have not made it right with his children. I'm feeling the Holy Spirit on me in a way I don't like. You need to make it right, right now. Whoever that's for, that's for you. Um, Y'all go check out Candy Nicole on Rise.com. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep doing it. I got a website now, y'all. <laughs> Y'all go check out CandyNicoleArise.com. Um, we got ebooks on there. We got more coming, you guys. I'm excited about that website. So y'all go check it out. Father, is there anything else you want to say before I get off of here? Um, you guys, you're going to see me pausing a lot more through my videos to allow God to speak more, okay? Um, holiday celebrate it's the time to celebrate dun, 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 dun. for many of you it is a celebration yeah <laughs> um that's what i'm hearing right now and for many of you it's a time of celebration judgment is here for the righteous and the unrighteous and you righteous who are aligned with god it's a time for celebration i will see you guys later and y'all have a great rest of your day bye